Hey Comic Impact, welcome to New This Week for the week of May 8th, 2013. I'm Sheldon, uh, I'll be the one touring you around this small little rectangle and talking about uh, little, little, big books, little books, comic books. That's what I'm going to be talking about. So, let's get right into it. First we have Avengers Arena number 9. This is part of the Marvel Now initiative stuff coming out um, where you can use your AR app. I won't repeat this again, so listen up. Uh, you basically hold your phone up and you can, you know, stuff will actually pop out. Sometimes there's movies. Um, you know, check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's really good. Uh, but Avengers Arena number 9. Uh, this is writer Dennis Hopless and Kev Walker. Now, you remember, remember Kev Walker? He was doing Thunderbolts for a while. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. There's an interesting story, really, because it's all about arcade. Is taking all these young sort of superheroes, put them in an arena and said, you battle it out until you're all dead. So this is an excellent book, lots of twists and turns, lots of people have already died. You can still catch up because this is only number nine. You want to check that out, and this is from Marvel Comics. Then we have Batman number 20 from DC Comics, and this is Scott Snyder with Alex Melev doing the interiors and uh, Greg Coppola doing the, the, uh, the covers. I don't know what that, I guess that's my word for cover. Uh, uh, supposedly there's supposed to be some huge thing where like everyone's been cl clamoring trying to get this one person to be... Um, to have a team up with Batman. It's finally happening this issue, but it doesn't say who it is, so I have no idea, because I can't think of anyone who I really want to see with Batman as a team up. Um, do, do you know? Do you have ideas? Put them down here in the comments section. We want to have a conversation with you. We, we, we're dying to know. I know this comes out on Wednesday, so it might be cheating a little, but uh, let's talk about who it was. Were you that interested? Let us know. We want to know. Um, Again, DC Comics, beautiful stuff. You may remember Alex Melev. If you don't know who he is, go read Brian Michael Bendis' run of Daredevil. He did all of the artwork on that, as well as Moon Knight, um, the more recent Moon Knight that was with uh, Bendis as well. Excellent stuff. I'm really selling the Marvel stuff here a, a little bit, but, you know, whatever. You'll get used to it. Harbinger number 12. This is from the Harbinger War series. Uh, Peter Stanchek has been sort of having visions about a war going on in the America Southwest, and he's going there. He's going to confront it, find out what's going to happen. This is written by uh, Joshua Desart, and uh, Carrie Evans is doing the artwork. Valiant Comics has been doing amazing things, and you should be picking up everything they do. No excuses. None. Then we have... Thor, God of Thunder, number eight. This is part of the Marvel Now initiative, the AR stuff. I already mentioned it. I'm not going to recover it. Uh, but this is Jason Aaron and Asad Rabik, and they've been doing incredible, incredible stuff with the story of Gore and how he's coming after Thor during different time periods and how it's all interconnected. And he's coming for Thor, and he wants him dead. But uh, three Thors might be better than one. We'll see what happens with that. We'll see uh, if, he, if he is able to conquer the last god of Asgard. Um, I highly recommend this book, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Then we have The Walking Dead, number 110, and this is Robert Kirkman and Charlie Adler. Look, if you're reading, uh, if, if you're reading the comic, um, good job. If you're just watching the TV show, read the comic too. They're side by side. They, they have, one has nothing to do with the other, the same premise, different storylines, and I think you'll enjoy the comic slightly better, actually, I think. I don't know. You, you let us know. Do you enjoy the comic more than you enjoy the um, the TV series. I mean, have a conversation with us, folks. That's what we're here for. Um, and you know what? Let's do one more comic. Let's do Uncanny Avengers number eight. Another Marvel book, a Marvel Now book, a Marvel Now AR book. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is Rick Remender, and uh, it says that Daniel Acuna is doing the interiors. We'll see if that's true. Um, but I know John Cassidy has been doing it, and he's doing the cover. Uh, this has been a great, great story, and now we're having the Apocalypse Twins come in. This is all tying back to Rick's crazy stuff, who, obviously, the writer. Um, Rick's crazy stuff, look, if you've read any of his other stuff with Uncanny uh, X-Force or even Fear Agent stuff, go check it out. Rick's an excellent, excellent writer. He's currently doing Captain America, some crazy sci-fi stuff going on over there, which is basically a tribute to Jack Kirby. Uh, if you're a Kirby fan, you want to check that book out. Uh, guys, that's it for me. I'm stuck in this little rectangle until Simon lets me out. So um, you can continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, YouTube, obviously. Um, you guys know. 
But uh, hey guys, thanks for coming every week. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Without without you, there'd be no us, and without you, there'd be no comics. So continue to support your guys, whether it be in retail stores or you know, little little guys like that, or trade online, or whatever you want to do. Read comics, talk about it, get a conversation. Until next time, folks. I will see you later.